Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick look at the latest build of Windows 10 April 2019 update or 19H1 released yesterday the um, February the 26th 2019 and uh, this is build 18346 as you see on the bottom right with the uh, watermark and uh, of course this is a build that was released third build release in less than a week so lots of activity going on here um, nothing new in here so that's, that's what you want to know uh, but we'll be looking at some of the features so it was released yesterday the install went well pretty much the average um, you know install time and uh, nothing much uh, you know to talk about is it really is working fine for me I got really no glitches and no problems and we are, you know, roughly away, um, a month away from the official release. So now they're concentrating really on bug fixes, and that's mostly what's happening right now. Of course, there are some known issues. If you have some problems, they have a, a list of known issues, of course. Plus, you know, the problems that pop up that people talk about that wasn't in the list also. So um, in terms of... Um, what we're going to talk today about, you know, some of the new features coming up. Um, what is happening with the overall look and feel of the, um, you know, Fluent Design. They've, of course, tweaked Fluent Design a little more in here. Um, there are now some effects that uh, wasn't there before. So when you open menus, for example, when you do things, there's a effect. The way that the menu opens, there's, of course, a... And kind of a um, little animation but also if you look closely I don't know if you guys can see it well but in the background there are some um, shading that appear just behind the different windows that you'll open so this is something that's happening uh, that's new to uh, this version of um, the uh, Windows 10 operating system so you know little tweaks here and there the Blur effect, if you are on the lock screen, you will notice that the background is now a blur effect. So um, you have, of course, your lock screen picture. But then you click and you want to log in, enter your password. You'll see that their bag, it's like your background is there with like a really a nice blur effect also. Um, they've also tweaked, you know, the colors to make sure that in the dark theme or mode and uh, light mode, the uh, icons are easier to see. Uh, they've even tweaked the dark mode because some people were complaining of certain aspects of what it looks like and how they had difficulty uh, seeing things and finding things because there's the contrast wasn't high enough. They've also, uh, you know, tweaked the uh, famous start menu. So now there's kind of an easier way to see your start menu and start menu icon. Uh, stuff with it, which is very very nice so that means that um, it's kind of easier to 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 see it's less cluttered let's say now it's still cluttered because I mean there's tons of junk that Microsoft insists on putting in the Windows 10 start menu when you do a clean install which shouldn't be there honestly but it's you know a little more spaced out the ways that the categories and the, the way that things are actually um, Clumping together, I would say, in the start menu are a little better. Uh, the list of programs is a little better also, kind of nicer to, uh, easier on the eyes. So they're tweaking uh, some of that stuff, and uh, it's kind of nice to see that. Another um, aspect is the famous Action Center. Now, when you get some notifications in the Action Center, you can actually, from the Action Center, go to the um, the settings to whatever you want to talk about. Uh, for example, here, if I clicked on the Snip and Sketch, um, I had a, a little you know picture that I had in notification. It brings me there directly. If you have a notification, you wish to change that notification, if you click on it, it will bring you to the settings page where that notification, uh, the all, all, all that the actions you can do and all the things you can do with that type of notification if you wish to turn it off so you don't have to go to the settings find where that thing is and then turn it off if you wish to turn it off 
you can just directly from there click on it and go directly to the settings to turn it off. So this is uh, another nice little aspect of this. And uh, you see here, if you have a laptop, there's at the bottom of the quick actions um, center, there's the uh, slider for the um, brightness of your screen. Now remember this, for example, I have it here. It works on my laptop screen, but right now I'm using, for example, an external screen. This slider doesn't work for external screens. It works really for laptops and tablets, internal screens. That's where the uh, brightness goes. For external screens, your screens have their own brightness settings that are not controlled from here. So these are a few of the new things that we are, of course, looking at uh, that are improving Windows 10 as an operating system, the visuals and uh, the way that we use it. And of course, um, every time we have a new build, we'll be talking about one of those new features that are added in 19H1. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.